everybody today we're looking at brown box from amp rx uh brown box uh was mostly designed for um vintage amplifiers that use uh less voltage or were designed for less voltage uh than what you get from the walls today my studio here will send out about 120 to 124 volts today it's about 120 but the basement itself was uh, designed for 117 so it's a drastic change, especially when an amp was maybe designed for 111 or um, your wall sending you, you know, 126 volts. Uh, so it's a really useful tool. When you click it on, it'll tell you what your wall sending you. And then um, when you plug the amp into it and, and turn that on, it'll send to kind of tell you where it, it needs to be. Um, right now it's bypassed, but we're going to reduce the voltage. It's going to start out way down... Um, 10% reduction all you yeah, go but work our way up to 3%. So bypassed. Oh by the way, I'm playing my um gold top uh Gibson Deluxe. We are miking with a Royer 121, a um Roswell Pro Audio a K47 going into uh, my UA uh, Apollo preamp uh which I will not be using any sort of EQ or plugins or compression uh, just to keep the tone as true as it possibly can be on for this demo. One thing to note, primary voltage, when you plug a uh, brown box in, it'll tell you basically what um, your wall voltage is, whether it be 120 all the way up to 126. Uh, so you can adjust that accordingly. Since my voltage is at 119, 120 typically, I'm just going to leave it at 120 this whole demonstration. <laughs> first used this with my uh, 6 day basement I totally understood what this device was doing um, it's definitely a thing that you're gonna feel a lot more under your fingers than you might hear there's a good uh, uh, bit of noticeable tone difference but man how it feels under your fingers feels so much more natural <laughs> Stell and anemic. So 3% reduction, that's probably close to what this amp was uh, intended for originally. So I have the basement at uh, eight and uh, eight and a half.
All right, a lot of people have asked me uh, what are the t sound differences on, say, uh, a modern amp that uh, draws is meant to draw 120 volts from your wall. Uh, well, this is a, a modern version of an old amp. It's a Sebago Sound Double Treble, which is um, based off of a Dumble um, Overdrive Special, I believe. Uh, and uh, cranked up, you can hear some really cool differences in the saturation once I drop the voltage a bit. Also, it should be noted that this um, brown box is, uh, could be used as a diagnostic tool to tell you if your amp is um, using or, or, or needing too much or too little voltage. Um, it's really um, a healthy uh, investment uh, to save your tubes. <laughs> So you can hear it get more squishy, um, uh, you know, it's uh, kind of my guess that you got the name Brown Box from Brown Sound, like what Van Halen would use, would do with a, a very active. Okay, let's check out one more amp. Okay, now we're checking out the 65 amp Soho, British voiced, 20 watts EL84s. Uh, this was engineered for 120 volts. Here's it in bypass. <laughs> Anyway, there's the brown box. I think it's excellent. I think uh, for you to really understand it, you need to uh, get to a dealer, or order one, and play it with a vintage amp. Get it under your fingers, see how it feels. Um, and read up about it on the website, amprx.net, um, or brownbox1.com, I believe. Um, and Pat, a great dude uh, who uh, invented this and designed it, he um, has a great rundown and a more technical demonstration of what's um, actually happening with the brown box. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Cheers.